Hi everyone, how are you today? Hopefully good. It's Wednesday today and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Yep, it's going to be story time Wednesday. So on Wednesdays I'm going to pick a random, well actually I'm going to pick a story, but this one I'm going to be doing chapter by chapter. And this one's a horror story. I don't know if I'm going to do horror all the time or whatever, but I'm going to try to keep it, you know, with horror, paranormal, you know, ghost stories and all that. But we'll see what happens, you know, just something different. All right, I'm going to get started. And this one's called, the story that I'm going to be reading, The New House. And this is chapter one. I'm just going to read chapter one and next time get you all hooked up and everything hooked on it and then read chapter two all right so when i found out i was moving i was not in the least bit happy but i guess it would be a bigger place than what we were staying in right now i couldn't afford the place we were staying in now at least this place was cheaper it had two bedrooms downstairs and three upstairs with a half bath bath in either a playroom or a living room which was in the attic it all depended depended how my oldest wanted to use that room let me introduce myself my name is Anya and I am widowed my husband died suddenly at age oh at the age of 43 of a heart attack I have been living with my relatives for about six months to get back on my feet. I have five kids that I need to take care of. My kids range from 18 to six. But when my uncle offered the second floor of his house for cheaper than what I was paying at my other relatives, well, I really couldn't pass it up. But the reason I wasn't happy is because I have heard stories of this place. They were bone chilling. When we went to look at the place, my daughter, Emma, who is six years old, swore up and down she saw a little girl in the window in the attic apartment. Now, she doesn't want to have the, her bedroom up there. I told her that Liam, Cameron, and Andrea were upstairs because they are the oldest. But I remember when I was a teenager, my cousins always talked about the stuff they heard and the things they had seen. Hmm, it was the things that they had seen that weigh heavily on my mind. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. It was the next day that I started to have doubts about the move, but I really needed to get back to some semblance of normal life. I had five kids to think about, not just me. Anyway, I got the call from my uncle wanting to know if I would take the place. Reluctantly, I said yes. So we started the process of moving and packing. I knew it would take some time to get things done. We all worked together, but still in the back of my mind, I kept thinking about what my youngest daughter saw and what my cousins heard and seen. As we started the moving process, my youngest daughter kept insisting that we wanted to go upstairs. Mommy, can I go play upstairs? She asked excitedly. Seeing how beautiful the day was and hearing what my cousin saw and what Emma saw, I tried to take her mind off of going upstairs. Sweetie, why don't you go play out in the yard with all your toys? We haven't gotten anything set up yet and I don't want you to get hurt with all the commotion. Okay, mommy. She was a little disappointed. I went over to my older kids to tell them to just keep and I on their little sister while we were moving in. I really didn't want her to go up there until I went to go look up there myself, especially since she saw her little girl. Oh, that little girl. After a couple of hours of moving all the stuff to the first floor, I wanted to have lunch. So I ended up ordering Chinese food for everyone that was helping us out. It arrived 45 minutes later. I called the kids down to eat. Cameron, Andrea, and Liam, the teenagers all ran down first. Then the straggler Paul, but Emma didn't come down yet. Guys, have you seen your sister? I asked after five minutes went by. 
Cameron said, the last time I saw her was 20 minutes ago. She was outside playing with her doll, talking about some girl in the window wanting to play with her. Wait, what? I said concerned. She didn't move because she was saying you didn't want her to go upstairs. Well, where is she now? I questioned Cameron. That's when we heard, that's when we all heard a scream from upstairs. I never ran so fast in my life to go see what happened. To be continued. Well, I hope you enjoy this. It, it's, I read the whole, well, not the whole story because it's still in the process of going and everything. But so far what I read, it's really good. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think of it. And stay tuned for chapter two, which would be next Wednesday. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And I really hope you like this. You know, it's just something different. You know, I'm playing around with ideas and everything. You know, just to see what you guys like and everything. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. And I'll talk to you probably tomorrow. Because tomorrow's Thursday and I have pick a card Thursday. Bye, guys. Mwah. Keep smiling.